Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, October 29th. No, October 30th. <laughs> and I got some finished objects I wanted to hop on here and share with you guys. I finished up a lot of stuff yesterday because I was taking it easy and just relaxing. And sat on the couch most of the day and crocheted. <laughs> so it gave me plenty of time to finish up some whips. So today I'm mostly sharing finished objects with you. I don't have any current whips to sh physically show you because one I haven't worked on in forever and two um, is my Christmas blanket and technically the parts I'm showing you today are finished objects but also whips if that makes sense. But yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and hop into it and share with you guys all the stuff I made. So first uh, last watch you working on Wednesday I was working on a hat and I finished it up so here's the hat it's really bright pink. Um, it's red heart super saver. I think it's called pretty in pink. Um, and this hat is called the Simple Seed Stitch Hat by Kristen Holloway, I believe. It'll be linked below. But I like it a lot. So it's a lot of the seed stitch and then there's some half double crochets and single crochets here uh, in the back lip only. And then it just seed stitch again and then you just kind of repeat that. And then it's got a nice little brim. My hair's a little wet, but I like it a lot. It's a little big, but it could just be kind of sachy. Uh, I could tell it was going to be a little a little bit big for my head while I was making it, but I just went ahead and finished it because I figured it would be slouchy. And sometimes in the winter, I like to put my hair like in a bun. So I think it would give me enough room to put my hair, stuff my hair up in there. But I like it a lot. I love the color. I love pink. And I like the texture. It looks really pretty. It's got a nice little brim. And I like it a lot. I like this hat. It was a lot of fun making it. It's a little tricky if you're not super good at reading patterns. So it says that it's an easy pattern. But I would probably say that it's like a advanced beginners just because the way it's written. Um, but it's definitely doable. And after a minute you get it like in your head of how, you know, what's going to happen next. So it's a really good pattern. I made it with a, a eye hook. But I think it's so cute. I made the adult size. They have like an adult size and they have a teen size. And um, to fit my head tight, I would probably need it to make the teen size. But I like it a lot. I think it's cute. I love the texture. There's a line. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I think it's cute. I can't wait to wear it when it's colder. Which is coming up soon. <laughs> my next finished object is my midwife blanket. I feel like the camera's crooked. Sorry about that. I finished my midwife blanket. And it's a free pattern by Yarn and Chi. Yarn and Chai. And I'll link it below. And I was, I'm using uh, Hershner's Worsted 8 on it. And that is yarn that was gifted to me. Trying to find my stitch marker. There it is. Okay, so the last time I shared it with you guys, I was where that stitch marker is. But now I did finish it all the way up. And I put a really simple border on it. I went around the whole blanket with the multicolor in half double crochets. And then I did a row in the purple and pink in single crochets. I didn't think the border needed to be too fancy since the blanket is already got nice stitching on it and the colors. So I thought just simple border border would look good. But it's super cute and it turned out a really good size, I think. There it is all in its glory. <laughs> if I can think about it, I'll also take a picture of it so you can see it all at once. But I really love it. I haven't washed it yet. I want to wash it and see how much it softens up. I'm going to take the stitch marker off so I don't forget and actually wash it too. <laughs> I love this pattern. Because it looks like a complicated, like fancy pattern, but it's super easy. And it's just a repeat and you just keep repeating it as, as much as you want and you can also make it as wide as you want so it's a beautiful pattern it comes out beautiful now i want to use the leftover yarn of these balls to make a little cardigan a bonnet and some booties to go with this blanket i thought that would be cute i was thinking about making the cardigan probably the pink color and then the bonnet the multicolor, and then the booties the purple color as well as second i don't know i'll just have to wait and see what i feel like doing once i get um get it going the project's going but it's such a cute pattern definitely check that out if you need a baby blanket because it's actually really quick like if you just sit down and work on it you get it done super fast i love it a lot all right next finished object this is finished for now <laughs> this is my spider blanket that i've been doing for crochet tober along with all the other ladies that are participating in it and um i wasn't sure how big i wanted to make it at first but when i was working on it yesterday i thought it was a pretty good size to stop for now so I did, I did crochet a bunch of um, 
rounds on it yesterday and also made some more appliques for it and sewed them on there woven all my ends and it's done but i didn't put a border on it in case i want to put more yarn on it next year because if i want it bigger all i gotta do is just add more yarn to it next year i think it'd be nice but i'm gonna show it to you and then i'll take a picture also of it laid out because it's pretty big so there's the length of it <laughs> it's about as big as my wingspan just all the different colors there's my spider web in the middle i made a bunch of spiders yesterday a yellow one a green one an orange one i think right up there and i made some more eyes i made these eyes yesterday and there's some green eyes on her somewhere down here <laughs> but yeah so the only part of this that's a written pattern is the square middle piece the black part and the white part it is a free square pattern by yarn utopia and then the rest of it is just the blanket is just straight granny stitch or granny square the straight one <laughs> Uh, so just a double crochet in every stitch and then increase in the corners. Uh, and then all the appliques I just made myself. I didn't follow any patterns. They're just really simple appliques. But I will lay it out and take a picture of it and insert it for you guys to see the whole thing. I think it's a good size uh, for like a couch blanket and for like Jesse next year because he's the one that wants this. And uh, again, like I said, if I want to, I can add more to it next year. Um, maybe just add a bunch of scrap balls to it next Halloween too and make it big. But I'm glad that I'm done with it. But I'm also going to miss working on it. <laughs> so there you go. Got two blankets done this week. Which is awesome. Alright. Next finished object. <laughs> I, this is part of my Christmas blanket that I'm making. From um, Maria's Blue Crown. I got a bunch of squares behind me. And uh, I finished week one and two. And three. So week three was to make four Aaron squares, four of the green squares, and four appliques of Christmas trees. I didn't want to applique that is in the pattern because it has loop stitches in it, and I'm not a big fan of loop stitches. So I went on a hunt for just some cute other trees, and I found a free, uh, like, granny tree by, her name was Hattie Risdale, I think. And I'll link it below. It's a free um, Ravelry PDF download. So I made that, but I only did the first two rounds of the tree. There's three rounds of the tree. But I didn't want it to be too big. So I did two rounds of the tree and then I did my own thing for the trunk. Uh, because I didn't do her pattern exactly. So I just made little trunks myself. But here's my little Christmas trees. There's one and two. <laughs> They're just all the same. Three and four. So these are the squares I made last week or so. And then I made these little uh, trees. So now I can move on to week four. Which is four more of the brown squares. Four more of the green squares. And then the applique for week four is uh, reindeer. So I did make two of the brown squares last night as well. But I so I still need to make two more brown, four green, and then the reindeer. And for the reindeer, I'm going to make three with black noses and one with red nose because I thought it would be cute to put Rudolph on there. But yeah, so my Christmas blanket is slowly coming along. I don't know if it will be done by Christmas, but I'm going to keep working on it between now and then, and we'll see. <laughs> if it won't be done by this Christmas, I'll have it for next year for sure. And um, I can also enter it into my fair next year because I'm working on it after the fair this year so it'll count as um a, a thing that's able to be entered into the fair next year <laughs> but yeah i thought it was cute so for the trunk i just attached brown and i did two rows of single crochet just to give it a little trunk down there but yeah so that's my granny blanket or my christmas blanket coming along slowly but surely and um i'm hoping to work on that some more tonight today Devin's taking a nap right now so i might um work on it while he's napping and then we got Halloween stuff later today if the rain will move out. But yeah, so that's all I'm working on. And like I said, my only whip that I'm actually working on is that Christmas blanket. So this is technically a finished object and a whip. <laughs> I do have that swancho, but I haven't touched it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to finish that. I don't know. I just lost interest in it. And now that I'm done with these blankets, I can start some new projects. Like I want to make that little baby cardigan and stuff to match um, the baby blanket I made June. And I'd like to make an amigurumi because it's been a little while since I made one. So now I'm going to go on the hunt for new patterns <laughs> to try out. So that's really all I have to share with you guys this week. Um, which is, a, I know it's a lot of work, but it also seems not, not a lot. <laughs> but it's because I've been working on these same patterns for so long that it's, it's nice to just finally get them done so I can start some new projects. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get this video up for you guys today. Because I'm going to be busy the rest of the day. And I think I'll sit down and crochet some of the granny squares for my Christmas blanket. And uh, maybe get around to making the appliques 
today or tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be later today. will be a vlog. And tomorrow I'm going to be announcing a giveaway. Actually, a series of giveaways that's going to be going on in November. So I definitely want to check out tomorrow's video. And uh, the last vlog of October video will be tomorrow. And then throughout November, there will be some pre-Vlogmas videos popping up. Because I do a lot of Christmas stuff in November. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to name them like pre-Vlog Vlogmas. And then I do plan on doing Vlogmas in December. Uh, hopefully, if health-wise, everything goes okay. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to hop off here. And I'll see you guys in the video later today. Bye, guys.